Most of them aren't good. I'm sure they're all pretty good, like to an extent at least. I'm just... Why is there more than one streamer? Well, that's a given, man. We don't get hired. It's just like there's no barrier to entry and you show me the incentives, I'll show you the outcomes. If your lottery ticket comes up, you know, you get to make a living playing with toys and like... It, it's a harder job than you'd think, but it's like the actual like mechanical act of manipulating the controller and talking is easy. The hard part is like thousands of people's untreated mental illness then like being reflected upon you and you serving as like a conduit for the fact that they have like unresolved issues with like their family and stuff in their life. And then the way that they get some relief from that for like one day is by calling a stranger a moron because they bought like attack speed instead of pure damage on Baron Murdo or whatever in League of Legends. But, but like that's why there's a lot of streamers. Like, I'm like, I don't know. Wasn't, like, the original Steam just built by, like, one dude with a goatee? Probably named, like, Sven or something like that? What happened to Sven? Same reason one guy can't build a house by himself. You've obviously never seen the show. <laughs> oh, man. They're messing with my map. Life's not a show, bud. Excuse me, all the world's indeed a stage, and we are merely fucking players, bud. Performers and portrayers, each another's motherfucking audience, outside the gilded cage. Oh, look who the cat dragged in! Oh. Maria, what are you doing in the nether? Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? I was almost killed back there. I have never been so scared in my whole life. You're the one who fell asleep, lady. You said leave me alone. Dead wife of yours. If I woke you up, you would have been like, why did you wake me up? I really needed the sleep. Just and stay with me. Don't leave me alone again. You're supposed to take care of You laid down in the spooky ass the haunted hospital. I So what about Laura? You found her? Kinda. Yeah, but she... She made me fight an iron box. What? Well, we have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Sus. Do you know her? I... I'd never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone and... I don't know, for some reason I feel like it's up to me to protect You've her. You literally... She's done nothing. Okay? <laughs> she literally has been trying to seduce me and then she fell asleep in the decroted hospital. She hasn't done anything, man. Oh my god, now she's like, do you know where you're going? Lady, we're in the nether. The maps don't work right, okay? Science hasn't figured out how to fucking get around this place yet. What do you mean you almost died? Pyramid Head threw my ass down like three stories. Would you let me guess, you almost died because you're, like, you're a little hungry? Get over yourself. By the way, Maria, do you know where to go? <laughs> the exit, man! This, mu this must be it! We must be done! 
We must be done with the prison. I mean the hospital. The prison's next. Biome complete. Oh, fuck. How do you know the biomes? So every three seconds I play this, somebody comes in and chat and says, has he done the prison yet? Maria, dab on the haters. They mustn't know. <laughs> you get the sheets in the laundry fast enough, that plan might just work. It's the motherfucking deep end for sure, man. No, thank you. Those who know. <laughs> this looks like uh, the start of like a jackass sketch or something. Is that what I think it is? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe yes. Maybe it's a coffin. trouble there yeah you think you could give me a hand me you're supposed to be the big man around here How why are you talking like that you work at a call center this is not a film noir fine okay she's pretty strong though <laughs> oh my God. Cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? Mm, it's a signet. Thanks. Lead ring. So, where to next? <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say. It. Don't, say it. don't say Asmund's fridge. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Sure, lots of people have fridges who look like that, okay? Or that look like that. Patients will become the diagnosis scheduled for them. They'll make recovery as my aim is always for the entire personnel, especially when their symptoms will become receding with the fed. Chat GPT ass doctor. Of in the, don't even start with me, buddy. Don't even start with me. Where do I go? Listen, liberal. Where the fuck do I go? <laughs> in Silent Hill 2. Elevator back up to floor 2. You genius. So, you have a good sleep? You trying to blind me, James? Floor two. El Riz. You know what it reminds me of? When I was in high school, there was a girl who had a crush on me. 
I'm like James and she's like the girl. And it, cause the, the unifying theme is I'm like, why? I had nothing going on. Like I hadn't, I had no personality. <laughs> Even in the, like the 12th grade, I was kind of like, it just seems a little suspicious. Did you have hair? Yeah, but I styled it like Lance Bass. So like. All right, now we're here on the second floor. Where do we go? Put the rings on the picture lady. All right, buddy, just put the fries in the bag. James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? Oh, she's one of those weirdos who gets freaked out by religious art. It's a painting, lady. It's not gonna hurt you. Or a door, or whatever. Scientists haven't really figured out what it is yet, okay? What's wrong? I thought you wanted to get out of here. I know. It's just... Something doesn't feel right. What are you, what are you talking about? Come on. It's gonna be fine. I mean, there's blood on the walls, but look at the room you're standing in right now. <laughs> it's all bad. I might have just put like a little rock or something to make sure the door didn't close behind me, but that's all right. I mean, I don't think we've ever gone through the same door twice because it's not the same door. It's not the same James. It is done. Sick no more. Me when I finally took a solid bowel movement Saturday morning. For now? Yeah, yeah, for now. Me, um, handshake Elon Musk when you ask him for money, shaking my hands. The hands have text over them that says, not very liquid right now. Maybe, maybe. Because I, I no longer am suffering from acute gastroenteritis. Wordy, but good. Well, I, I was telling Chad GPT so they could make the picture. Run! Try a jog. I mean, she is in boots. So I'll give her that. Get out of there. Don't look behind you. This is like... I'm not turning this into Crash Bandicoot, okay? I'm catch- I'm drafted! Come on, hurry! You had to wear the Louboutins to the hospital. My finger stuck in there. Second floor, menswear. 
Why aren't you mourning? My headcanon right now is that none of these are real people. James is... He had an edible that he thought was 10 milligrams, but it's actually every tenth of it is 10 milligrams and he ate the whole thing. So he'd had a 10x dose when he's used to smoking mids. And this is all happening like in his head while he's watching Cartoon Network right now. So I don't think Maria is like a real person. I think it might be like a, a plant in his house or something. What's Pyramid Head? Work tomorrow? That's just my head cannon right now though. I gotta I gotta see some more to really do up the new media rock stars ending explain video. Ed, Ed, and Eddie ended years ago, though. That's why I'm so confused. No! <laughs> Come on, man. A hospital is like half the game. Yeah, the first six times you play it. Oh, never mind. Right there. Interested to know if you own a leather jacket, NL? Just a little, because you've been... I don't know if it's you. One person in chat today has asked like nine questions about a leather jacket. I feel like it's a, a phase that all young men go through. There's nothing wrong with a leather jacket, okay? But if you're trying to just add like one piece of clothing to your wardrobe... It's it's not going to save you by itself. Let me put it that way. Like you can't just be rocking the leather jacket. And then when you unzip it, when you sit down at the table, it's like Binding of Isaac graphic T-shirt. You got to have at least something that is like thematically in keeping with the leather jacket. Okay. Uh, exactly. Otherwise, you become the guy with the jacket. What's that guy like? He's like, oh, wait a minute, guys. I forgot something. And then all your friends look at each other. And then they're like, I bet it's the jacket. And then you come out with the jacket on. And your face went from like to like one million beers, please. Exactly. You see, you know what's up. There's a, there's a type. Oh no, the lights are out, man. Society has a mean mugging epidemic. It actually does, though. I know I talk about it every time we get back from Disneyland. So like once every two days. But, like there's like people out there mean mugging at Disneyland when they're like wearing a shirt with Snoopy on it. And they're there with like their six kids. And it just it always makes me laugh. I'm like, you're at Disneyland. Why are you walking around with that look on your face like... Not, they're not like looking like they're having a bad time. They're looking like they want to fight somebody. Like, like that would be a good time for them. And I'm like, you're, you got Snoopy on your shirt, man. You got Mickey Mouse ears on and you're here with your kids. Like, well, you're walking around like... <laughs> Victimless crime. You're hitting the dads where they should smile more? 
Well, yeah. I think dads should smile more, man. Instead of, uh, you know, d deliberately trying to give off a threatening aura in the happiest place on Earth. But that might require them to... take their AirPod out, which is playing like a... Sri Lankan cricket game that they bet their hotel stay on. So I know that it's it's anathema. Let's try. I keep the MF and thing on me. She really do look like a BC Conservatives commercial right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> this is like three seconds before John Rustad tells me he's gonna bring back common sense governance. They'll be like, there's literal demons crawling all over the street! Jasper County, sorry, sorry. Is that how he sounds? No, not at all. I just had to, he just sounds like a guy. Good on your terms. No, man, no. Yo, go back to the hospital! You're free! I opened the door! You don't have to be here anymore! Guys, I think my health is low. Yep. How much HP are you on today? I'll level with you. I'm on like... I'm still on 95, honestly. It's just a little hot. But I don't want to open my window, because if I open my window, my neighbors can hear the shit that I'm saying. And I prefer... I'm, I'm a big believer, on a literal level, that good fences make for good neighbors. So I'm keeping my, my fence closed. How can you be hot? It's October. Just checking the thermostat. Just the way it goes, man. Oh my god, I didn't save after I got the key. Are you sure you don't have a fever? Yep. Yes, I am. Turn the thermostat down. Well, like, here's the thing. I, I don't know if anybody else's house is like this. I think that the woke left got in the construction and is fucking up the thermodynamics. The houses have become too insulated, man. So now, in the summertime, my ass is cold because the AC kicks on and none of the cold air leaves the house. So it turns into, like, a, a chili bin, to put it in chib terms. And in the... As it gets to the fall and the winter, the heat kicks in, but the houses are so insulated that it stays hot, man. They've, they've inverted the damn seasons. Or something. I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. Use less energy? I haven't considered that. Turn down the heat? Well, here's the thing, motherfucker. I'm not the only person living in my house. <laughs> At your house, it might be like, you know, hey, daddy makes the rules. Things are a little bit more nuanced and complicated over here. I gotta go to the fucking committee, okay? There's a... <laughs> 
Take your jacket off? No, I like the way it looks. Well then deal with it? I am dealing with it, you deal with it. Open a window? We covered that. We covered that on day one of the lecture. Oh, you weren't there? You were playing World of Warcraft instead? Okay, well, that's what summer school's for, kid. Twenty bullets. You know what made me laugh all week last week? I like I, I laughed about it at least three times yesterday because I saw the ad on TV. Corey saying, and I don't know, Corey, you would, I, feel free to have a chance to respond to this, okay? Corey saying that Beyonce looks unrecognizable in her new ad, and then saying Ozempic. When she looks like the same person she's been since she came onto the pop culture scene like 25 years ago. <laughs> she doesn't? She does, though. She just has like a different color hair, man. I didn't recognize her either. What are you talking about? It's Beyonce, man. What do you mean you didn't recognize her? But just the way he like... With one word, he went, hmm, authentic? See, this I should have come here first, man. I thought it was Rihanna. They don't even look alike, man. That's crazy. Look at chat's torching you, man. You're getting torched right now. And I can't come to your defense because they're accusing you of being racist. So if I came to your defense, I would fall victim to the same aspersion. So as a result, I just gotta let you eat the fucking hits on that one. That's the most fucked up part about it, is I... <laughs> I can't even be like, that's a reasonable mistake. I gotta be like, only a bad person would ever think that. <laughs> yeah. So you're done, bud. All legal like. Do it on your terms. Okay, we're playing Mario Party in 19 minutes. By the way, Prezo, I saw you in chat. Did anybody tell you I was glazing you at the start of the stream? I don't know if you deleted the tweet. I don't know if you're even still here. Yes, I'm sorry for deleting the tweet. Oh, did somebody... Did you just think like it wasn't getting traction? Because I was stunned that it wasn't getting traction. It's like when your favorite meal at a restaurant gets taken off the menu and you ask them and they're like, you're the only motherfucker that was ordering it. It was flopping, so I assumed people thought I was sexist. I couldn't believe it was flopping, man. <laughs> the tweet was, just watch the substance related to it a lot, dot, dot, dot. The woman I hired is getting very old. And I was like, man, that's such an insanely good tweet. I couldn't believe it at 85 likes. And then I couldn't believe that I couldn't find it when I went looking for it. But now, now I know. Anyway, what? Bug? Bug? You know what the worst part of the rain is, by the way? I don't like worms, man. 
And when it rains, there's like worms everywhere. Why? Well, like, because I guess it gets wet under the soil, so... Yep. Me and who? Uh, so they can't, like, breathe. So they gotta come up to the the air to breathe, and then the worms, like, eat them and stuff like that. Why do you hate worms? I just, you know, because they look fucking strange. I don't like touching them, too. Like... <laughs> So we'd like, I'd open up my garage to take my daughter to like an activity or something. And there'd be a worm in our garage. And I was like, well, I can't leave it in the garage. Like it's going to get crushed by the garage door. Like there's just not much for a worm in here. So my daughter's like, you should pick it up and put it outside. And I'm like, I'd rather just, I don't know. I'd let God sort it out, man. I don't like to pick up a worm either. Because they, they, don't, they don't know what's going on. But then when you touch them, they go like... I don't, I don't like that, man. Just step on it? No, that's evil. Like, they didn't do anything wrong. Like, I'm not the Joker. I'm not an evil person or whatever. What if the worm was your wife? Well, then I'd make an exception, but like... Beyonce ad just came on. Who could possibly say who that is in the advertisement, though? Say your prayers. She lived, bro! Bugs? Help. Not you, too. I can't really tell what's going on here, to be honest with you. I don't want to get too close. That one friend that's a little too table. <laughs> it's more of a Chibli joke, honestly. Usually shy away from that kind of like abject silliness. Save point? Save point, then we're ready for Mario Party. Good productivity today. Couldn't have done it without you. There's a wall to break in there. All right, Papa Roach. There is. How long is this game? I honestly, I must have gotten a different copy than everybody else because I feel like this is the longest game I've ever played in my fucking life. I played it seven hours a day, every day since it's come out. And people are like, you're 40% of the way through. <laughs> it's like 12 hours long. No, man, no, it's not. I'm like 12 hours in. Okay, let's let's save it up. I'll have a quick uh, drink and a quick snack and we'll get set up for Mario Party a little early just because I don't want to be the... Someone's gonna be the squeaky wheel. I don't want to be the squeaky wheel. I'll leave the spooky ass music on. Or not. And uh, I'll be back in three to four minutes.